I'm AshmeelTwelve.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a digital clock but this time with images. Now what I mean, mean by images is here I have basically 0 to 9 and a color that are basically just JPEG images you just open them up and it's just a JPEG image. Now I created these 0 to 9 images in the colon um, just myself using Photoshop but they were really easy to create. Basically, all I did was download a digital font, um, and basically that was it. <laughs> um, just created a little rectangle and put the number in that and the colon down there. I will also provide these images in with the zip file to download from able12.com if you um, if you want to use these. Uh, but however, these are pretty big images, so you may want to shrink them down a bit, maybe. I'll just make your own, it's a lot easier. Um, right, so to get on with it, I have a blank page. And um, basically I have imported jQuery. Like just like the other clock video, you don't actually need jQuery to use this. Um, in fact, no, you don't need jQuery, but I do use jQuery to um alter the uh the source attribute of the image tag. So first, what we're going to do is actually just build up the the clock, basically, to start with. So, img id. Um, I'm just going to have our one. Um, the source um, images forward slash zero dot jpeg. So at the start, all the uh, All of the so when the page loads, all of the um, oh, what what can I say? All of the images are zero basically. It just um, by default it will load the zero. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So our two um, second actually it's minutes so minute one minute one minute two. And this will be second one, second two. Alright, so if I just save this out and just show you what this looks like. Oh, why is it not? Right, stupid me. Put that the wrong way around. Try it again. No, I don't want to load up Vegas. Ah. Uh, close that down. Alright, there we go. So we've just got um, the two hours here, the two minutes, and the two seconds. And um, what I'll do now is just um, IMG. Uh, we don't need an ID for the colon as it will just be the same all the time so and then if we just copy and paste that in there there we go right now you can see how you've got the uh, the white space in between them and um, now just for the purpose of this tutorial because of the background of the clock is black. I'm just going to put up here a style which I recommend doing in an external file. I don't recommend doing it in line. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do it like this. So background dash color. I'm just going to set as black. Alright, so that gets rid of the spaces in between them, but we get to the length of the uh, the uh, screen. So what we can do is just add a width onto this. I'm just going to put 850 pixels as I've checked it before, and that should just land it just after the zero. There we go. So that's good. So now we've got a little basic clock set up here, uh, ready to code. So now down into the JavaScript, what we need to do is basically first create 
an array of all the images that we're going to be using. So var images equals new array and in this array basically we just want images forward slash zero dot jpeg so the location of all your images so if I just basically just put a comma um, actually one minute if I go just like this so we've got zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine and just change these one two three oops four five six seven eight and nine okay so we've got that set up and um, now we need to create our interval so that interval equals set interval function to run every thousand milliseconds so every one second um, whatever's in here will be executed so first of all we need to get well we need to create a new date object so var date equals new date okay so now we basically need to get to the hours the minutes and the seconds so var hour equals date dot get hours now the problem with this is that this will return it to be a integer which you cannot put an integer into the source attribute so what we need to do is convert that to string uh, for javascript basically you just do string around what you want to convert to a string and that will convert it to a string so now the number returned from this will be a string basically so we can copy this down twice for the minutes let's get minutes and the seconds so get seconds there we go um, I just put one more down there to make it a bit more. Um, so now what we need to do is do an if statement here with an else. So basically, this will be done for each of the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. So if hour is less than ten, if you've watched the other clock video, you'll see why I'm doing this. It's because when it's returned. Um, before 10 it just returns one digit should I say so instead of it being 05 for example it will just return a 5 so instead of putting 05 in the seconds here you'll just get a 5 repeated on this first one and this second digit will be untouched until it reaches 10 which you don't really want because then that looks like it's going up by 10 20 35 50 seconds all up to 90 um, and then which it looks odd so this is why we do that so if it's less than 10 we basically want to alter the hour one attribute so dot a t t r and what do we want to alter we want to change the source and we want to put in there we don't actually need them um, images zero um, so basically we want to put um, the first digit to be zero and then we want to dynamically create the uh, the uh, second digit which will always be one in our case so images um, and then inside that we want our dot char at zero okay so basically um, well I can't test this at the moment because the hour I'm currently working at is 12 it's just past midday so um, we would have to copy and paste that 
down into the else for me to test this out currently at this current time but that should work for below hours of tenure you'll, you'll be able to see how it works when we get down to seconds and maybe minutes if we're three minutes quick um, which we should be able to so basically this is just the same as this one but we're going to change the char to zero for that one and char one for that one and basically all you do is copy and paste this down Well, at, actually I'll show you what this looks like at the moment so at the moment it's currently 12.07 so here this first one you should see the number 12 oh we've got 20 that's not quite right just have a quick check um, uh, right it's because we've not changed this here so that should be our 2 let's try again there we go and the hour is 12 so that's right just like on the other video um, it takes a second to actually load um, the actual clock up so uh, bear in mind of that right, so now what I've just said is basically just copy this down uh, if you just space it out a bit and basically all you have to do is change this to minutes is less than 10 minute 1 it's basically just change everything over to minutes now so like here um, minutes minutes and then do the same for this one seconds uh, seconds all right so now that's basically it it should all be working and good to go we refresh and there we go and you have is that the right time 12.09 Yes, and the seconds, 29, 30, 31, 32, uh, so it's about half a second behind, but it's basically uh, a real real time clock working and updating um, using images instead of just plain and boring text. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.